from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Ann Curry, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. I get it. Get smart. This morning on Eat Smart Today. Sorry about that, Chief. All you can eat for 300 calories or less. Lisa Lillian is the author of Hungry Girl, Supermarket Survival, and the founder of HungryGirl.com. Lisa, good to see you. Good to see you. Well, you know, this is really interesting because a number of these uh, items are actually frozen. And a lot of people, I think, have a bit of a bias toward frozen food sometimes. Yeah, you know, it's Frozen Food Month. I don't know if you know that, I Al. did not know that. March is Frozen Food Month, so a lot of frozen finds here. And a lot of them are actually all natural and good for you and smart choices. You just have to know what to look for. Okay, let's start off with burgers. Uh, and we're, these are actually veggie kind of uh, substitutes. Right. These are vegetarian burgers and hot dogs mm -hmm. from Veggie Patch, and they're really good. Now, especially the hot dogs, it's very hard to find vegetarian hot dogs that taste good. Right. These taste amazing. You throw these on the grill mm -hmm. or you just make them in a pan. They're about 85 calories for the dogs, wow. 110 calories for the burgers. Mm -hmm. So you cut calories and fat, and there's no artificial preservatives in these, and they're they're really a good option even if you're a carnivore like me. And you end up, if you want to even save more calories, get rid of the bun, and you're doing even better. Wrap it in lettuce. There you yeah, go. Yeah, or a high fiber tortilla. I love this Applegate company. They make great stuff. Amazing, yeah. all natural. This is Applegate Naturals. These mm -hmm. are frozen chicken nuggets. This is not only a good option for kids, but it's good for moms, for dads. Now, why do you like these? I like these because they taste great. They're very lightly breaded. You mm -hmm. can bake them, and you can eat seven of them, and it probably has about 40% fewer calories than fast food nuggets. That's pretty good. And they taste good. They're, they're crunchy. If you're in a rush for breakfast, you've got the uh, omelets. Uh, egg Cedar white omelets. Lane, amazing egg white omelets. Sometimes mm -hmm. people say there's no time for a hot breakfast. You pop this in the microwave, three minutes, you're done. Egg white omelets for under 300 calories in all different flavors. Really, really good. And then again, the, the ultimate uh, convenience food <laughs> when you talk about uh, now, burritos. Right. Now, I love snacking on things that are a little bit more foodie, mm -hmm. that have less than 200 calories. And this is amazing. It's all natural. It's evil. Have you seen these? I've seen these in the grocery they store. They are made with just really delicious ingredients like fresh chicken and beef and, and beans mm -hmm. and cheeses. And you pop it in the microwave. They're hand rolled. They taste phenomenal. And again, sometimes you want something more than like a crunchy little you know, snack. chip or uh -huh. a snack kind of thing or a bar, and this is a really good And you good start off frozen, so you... Start off frozen. Gotcha. Now, mm -hmm. everybody likes a little ice cream or a little frozen treat. Yes, but this is actually kefir. Some people call it kefir mm -hmm. or kefir, but the company calls it kefir. Kefir Sutherland? Scoopable. Exactly. They must be fans of 24. That's what I was thinking. Um, scoopable frozen dessert, mm -hmm. 90 calories for a half a cup. So if you slip up and eat the whole pint, right. 360 not calories. not so bad. Not terrible. And now, in is this dairy-free? It's 99% lactose-free. Mm -hmm. It is gluten-free, and it's Oh, wow. very low in fat, one gram of fat per serving. Okay. So it's good. Now, That's mango. Mango? I love mango. It's good stuff. It's a good alternative to ice cream. That is very good. Now what are these? These are Carzona's Oatmeal Squares. Mm -hmm. I love these because they taste like cookies. They're really big and chewy and they're a good alternative if you really are craving like a chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. or a brownie. But they're made with plant sterols which have been shown to lower cholesterol. So plant sterols? Mm -hmm. So and this is uh, like a healthy cookie sort it's of? Like a, and, and it's a bar so it's, mm -hmm. I keep these in my purse at all times. It's, a, it's really good if you're going like three or four hours without a meal and you want something for about 180 calories mm -hmm. or so. It's fairly low in fat and it's high in fiber. Five or six grams of yeah, fiber per. Yeah, very chewy. It's good, right? And what do we have here? And these, this is a fun alternative to candy. Mm -hmm. this, these are made by Sun Sweet, and they're plum sweets, mm -hmm. and they're chocolate-covered dried plums. You know what that oh, means? Oh, sure. Prunes. 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 Exactly. It's a fancy so way. This can be a, this this could be a moving earlier. experience. <laughs> <laughs> candy, three grams of fiber per serving, about mm -hmm. 120 calories per serving. It hits the same buttons as like a raisinette. It's a little bit, you really know, good. it's really good for you. Addictive. And it's good. Savannah? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Ooh, raisinette? Yeah, I love I these. like them better than raisinettes. Well, they're plums. I like them better. They're yeah, plums. they're dried plums. <laughs> they're dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. They're just yeah. right. AKA prunes, but Fantastic. they're really good. Dark yeah. chocolate. Okay. I can't wait to get the snacks. The book snacks. is a Hungry Girl <laughs> Supermarket Survival. Lisa Lillian, thanks so much. All right, coming up, Hollywood.